The insurance scheme today marked a milestone, welcoming its 5,000th participant. The ACT will become the first place in Australia to fully transition to the NDIS. Wahiba Omran is a mother of two and was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis 11 years ago. And today she was the 5,000th participant to sign up to the ACT's National Disability Insurance Scheme. It's just an early stage, so I don't really know what to expect much, but it's very exciting and it's going to be very helpful and less stressful to do with my life. Having only signed up for the scheme a week ago, Wahiba hopes the NDIS will help improve her health and well-being. It certainly had a bad impact on my life and my kids as well. Um, so I'm always very tired and very sick. So this program is really going to make my life much easier. With the cutting of the cake, the ACT's 5,000th participant in the NDIS was official. This means 5,000 people with disability have been able to have a personalised package that suits their needs. And with the target of 5,075 participants, the government expects to be the first jurisdiction in Australia to reach the full rollout of NDIS. We are ahead of schedule to have all of Canberra as part of the NDIS. In fact, there's only 75 people left in the target, which will be filled within a matter of weeks or months. The government says while the NDIS is a big change for the region and some are sceptical, they strongly believe in its benefits. It's about giving them choice where they had no choice before and it's about giving them control about the services that they want to know. It's about moving from a system where support was really dependent on where you lived or what your needs or, or, or what the name of your disability was to one based on need which is fair, which is equitable. And for people like Wahiba, it's hoped the NDIS will make day-to-day -day living that little bit easier. Just to be with my kids and yeah, to make my life as normal. Abby Donaldson, Win News.